gospel jesus again and again gives the same statement saying you ask anything in my name you have not asked anything now ask in my name it will be given to you yes again in that day you will ask in my name and i do not ask say to you that i shall pray to the father but when you pray in my name my father himself will do it for you jesus says invited urged and commanded all of us to pray in his name because the bible says we read in the book of philippians chapter 2 verses 7 onwards that everything in heaven and on earth bow before that holy name jesus and that mighty name is being given to us while we live on this earth various type of situations various type of decisions we need to make we need to face very type of trials and even the evil forces on our journey and like the father he keeps the child the father our god and our lord jesus he equips us with this power called my name use my name yes he invites us to use his name he urges you how to use and he commands us what is that name of praying in the name of jesus number 1 when we pray in the name of jesus we admit the bankruptcy of our own name the power in our own name is nothing when i pray in jesus name i come boldly in his name it would be like a girl a, who is born in a very poor family she gets married to a rich man to a wealthy man or to a highly influential man then she begins to identify herself with the name of her husband she puts the husband's name behind her name yes she forgets about even her family yes that's what jesus says take my name and all that of mine will follow you call my name and when you call my name the whole heaven and the earth it will notice your identity changes your inner confidence changes when you come in my name and today what is needed for man to face life is the inner confidence and inner courage and that's what my name will give when you say the my name even the forces will get frightened yes we use the name of jesus secondly we identify with the person of jesus yes jesus has literally given his name when i use that name i am confessing that he is mine and i am his yes when i use that name it's like i go to the a uh, bank of heaven and give the check what he has given to me i may not have money but he has got plenty over there the moment the check is given the money has to be given yes when i use his name all that of heaven becomes mine when i use his name i go with all that he has third we pray in his name means we pray in his authority he said in luke chapter 10 verse 10 go in my name when you use my name even the evil forces will run away from you yes and they will be frightened of you he said if 
in any town where you are not welcome go to the marketplace and proclaim and when you proclaim my name every power of darkness will obey you yes he says in luke chapter 9 verse 1 we read when we use the name of jesus jesus called the 12 disciples and gave them the power and authority to drive out all spirits and to heal all the diseases that's what we read in matthew chapter 28 verse 18 he breathed his breath upon them and said go in my name i have every power and authority is given to me by my father like a man receives the property from his father and shares with his children the same way god jesus christ has received all the power when we go in this world different type of powers come behind us and when we nay stand in the name of jesus every power has to bow before when i was in muthangi i remember once a lady was brought her name was alamelu and they work in cutting the stones from the mountain and they had various type of evil spirits and this girl was having fits for 11 years and they went to, to different temples to different places different worship places and they will feel better for a few days and again it will become bad towards they did not know what to do somebody said why can't you go to jesus so they came when i started to pray in jesus name i suddenly noticed she is a woman of mother of two children she started to talk in the lang in the voice of a male i got shocked it's a first experience for me i am just a young priest then the inner voice of the holy spirit said use the name of jesus she became bold she stood before me then i used the name of jesus in the name of jesus she became like a cat and i took the authority when we prayed in jesus name and she fell down and that is the end for her sickness of getting fits even now she is alive and her children are now got married yes whenever she calls she reminds me father do you remember i said don't remember me because i could pray for you because of the name of jesus it is the name of jesus has the power and when you use the power of, when you use that name the whole power of heaven stands before you and the power fights against the spirit we have no power to fight against the enemy but when we move in the name of jesus the whole power of heaven it comes accompanies us and it fights against the forces yes fourth using the name of jesus means we submit to god's will to the will of jesus jesus authority as we heard in today's gospel the last sentence i always do what my father wants me to do yes jesus authority rested with his submission to the father so our authority also rests with our submission to him to god the father and to his son jesus that's why in john 17 3 he says eternal life is to know him and know the father 
and to do his their will yes that's why jesus always said father i have come to do your will hebrews 105 